no better feeling than sitting on the line right as they're about to say go, and you go from standstill to flying. Go! Hit suit! Hit suit! Hit suit! Hit suit! Today I was like, go, 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 go! We choose to spend 20 to 30 hours a week doing this, so yeah. we obviously love it. I mean, if you're not enjoying it, why the heck would you wake up at 5.30 in the morning? Oh, I get up at 5.15. This is where we start our day at 5.45 in the morning. We do a warm-up run for about 10, 15 minutes. We go in the boathouse and while we're stretching and continuing to warm up, our coach will go over the workout for the day, the lineups that we're gonna row in. And then we're usually on the water by 6.10 and we're out there till just around eight. Hi guys, listen up. Oh. <laughs> Just around. We'll take it out in the water with you, but. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about this. These are the lineups that you are probably racing in this weekend unless something happens. You know, I always have to add, that, again, this may change and people will be improving over the year and that might make a difference as well. Any questions about the next two or three days? What does L stand for on this? Lightweight. Lightweight. Okay. Uh, so we don't have one of those. <laughs> okay, let's vote them. Be careful, one vote at a time. steps, few more steps. Wind up, up and over heads. Ready, up, ready, roll. Easy. Check your feet. Hey, check your fingers. Slide, please. Slow down a little bit. Slow it down. Okay, here we go. Down to the water. Ready, roll. Yeah, Kelly Larson. Watch the blades. Rocking like a Kelly would. Watch the bow, ladies. Lift out. Who are these little people always yelling at us? And I tell them I'm a cox, and the first of all, they're like, cox, and what's that? And then I tell them, oh, I'm a little person on the boat that yells. And they're like, oh, you say row. There's a lot of rhythm talk, hit, sit, hit, sit, like that. But there's no row, row. My hair, my hair, my Look at her, look at me, look at me. So when I'm in the middle of a race, and I've got 20 things I'm thinking about, they want to know where they are in the race, how much time it's been, what their rate is, what's the other teams doing, how fast do we need to go, how much farther are we going, what does my stroke look like, are our catches together, a multitude of things that I'm talking about continuously. I don't stop talking. When you're too tired to think, she does. Yeah. So when you're making a mistake, she can literally call out your seat, either by saying Abby or by calling out your number seat, and you're late or you're early. So instead of you pulling and thinking, you just hear and you're like, I've got to. They really control the whole boat. A lot of people don't realize how much they do. Okay, get a grip. Don't let the wind flip out of your hands. Ready? Up and over heads. Ready? Up. So this is my Cox box, and right there is the stroke rating, 16 and a half, it's a pretty low stroke rating. Right here is my clock, and this tells me how many strokes they've taken. Plug it in. There's speakers that are all the way throughout the boat, and this is how I talk, basically. There's a magnet here, and then there's one right under the seat. So right now I'm getting 33 stroke rating. So that's, that's what we race at. Carrie Grace, she's really started the program here in Texas and brought it up. What's fun is when you go to races and you'll have all these girls from all the other teams coming up and asking for autographs. It's one of those things you also sometimes take for granted, the fact that you know, you're rowing with a gold Olympian coach. Well, I rowed on two Olympic teams and we still get together all the time and row and socialize. They come down here and visit. We won, we went home. <laughs> that was it. Lay down, take it down the waist and down. Hug it. Hug it like you love it. Rowing? Rowing is a full body yeah. thing. It's not canoeing, it's not kayaking, and it's not just arms. Yeah, that's why Everybody's we all have these huge yeah. legs. Everybody's always <laughs> like, oh, your upper back must be really strong, but when in actuality, it's your legs. It's your legs. Yeah. If you get in like this ball up at the front of your stroke and then just jump as hard as you can. An erg is a rowing machine. Presumably people with better erg scores make the varsity boat. That's not always the case, but it's often the case. You could be the best person on the erg and not the fastest person on the water. 
Rowing on the water requires a lot of technique and a lot of applying power in all the perfect places. You can get pretty bad blisters on your hand. Mine aren't too bad right now. Those are good hands. These are perfect because they're all calloused. <laughs> the hands become the most painful in the fall when they start rowing after not rowing in the summer. By the time they're racing, they already have calluses. There's something that's called um, catching a crab, which is the ultimate fear of a rower. Yeah, it's where you, or basically you're, or you just get stuck underwater. And it throws the blade forward, causing the handle to come back incredibly fast. Sometimes they're laying flat down in the boat. Sometimes they got knocked in the mouth. Teeth are flying. Oh. Lean away, lean away, lean away. Lean away. Come on, let's go, is there a specific diet for a rower besides quantity? Counting calories, I mean, it's a lot of calories that they got to take in because they are burning so much out there. Which is good, we like to eat. We're all big girls. Pedal! Bring them both together, switch to three seats. Want to change that, switch to two seat. Not three seat, two seat. Sometimes uh, we don't appreciate how beautiful it is out here. It's hard to remember sometimes when you're out there sweating and <laughs> in a lot of pain. Everybody's just rowing full power and you can see the sun come up. It's pretty amazing. I think Town Lake is one of the top 10 places in the country in terms of protected water. It's usually pretty flat. It just makes for good, fast racing. We are 15 minutes till race time. Uh, scratch that, 12 minutes till race time. The Longhorn Invitational is a regatta. Traditionally, the race after our spring break it's a good measure of how we're doing in the season and just to get us out in the water and race. It's fun to see a bunch of crews, great crews, come down to our boathouse and on our water. So this year we have Duke, Miami, Wisconsin, Wisconsin Iowa, Iowa, Kansas State, and Kansas State coming down. And as both crews approach the boathouse, increasing rain appears. It's perfect weather for the rock on. Stay light, stay powerful. Light and powerful, light and powerful, light and powerful. Okay, that's what the sprint is. We can sacrifice a little bit of speed if we can get all eight blades in the water yeah. together. Nothing matters power. except that we're together. The, the whole race. Yeah. Exactly. We're gonna rock. Uh, yeah. And kill them. <laughs> and we're going to kill them. When you're tired, trust your rhythm. Trust the rhythm. Trust the rhythm. Trust it. Go with it. Go up, go down, go with it. And go get them. are going crazy, people are going crazy, and it's just fast, it's just fast. And with 200 meters to go, no open water between the two boats, it comes down to who wants it more right here. The Longhorn's kicking it up a notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be able to see it. well we can incorporate that and keep what we're doing well. Next year I'll be going on to law school and training with the Canadian national team. Yes I'm a Canadian citizen but I'll always be a proud Longhorn. I'm hoping to stick around in Austin. There's a lot of good things in this town that I love so I'm just gonna find a job for a couple years and see where it takes me after that. Rowing is not easy. It looks easy I think but it's not easy. It doesn't get harder than rowing. It's the hardest sport there is. It's the truth. You don't mess around. It's an opportunity not just to be a Division I athlete at the University of Texas, but it's an opportunity to really test themselves and see what they can do physically. They love it.